First of all, on behalf of my government, Ethiopia, and myself, and also on behalf of all the delegates from Ethiopia, I would like to thank the University of Oxford for organizing such a timely and unimportant conference on water security. My colleagues and I are very pleased to be here to congratulate Oxford University for its tremendous achievements over the past decade in the water security area and for providing us this opportunity to learn from their experience. Today, on the occasion of this important conference, I would like to share with you how far Ethiopia has come in the past 12 years. In these years, on average, Ethiopian economy has been growing about 10.6%. During these last five years, Ethiopia had a plan which was called Growth and Transformation Plan, GTP1. During this time, Ethiopia has made a considerable progress in many fronts, including extending access to drinking water supplies, with about 66 million Ethiopian people having gained access to improved drinking water in the past 12 years. Moreover, in March 2015, we announced the achievement of the MEDG Goal 7 Target C. We reduced the number of people without access to safe water by half. And we would like to thank UNICEF and DFID, as well as many more who have helped us in this great achievement. Water security, however, still remains a challenge to Ethiopia. Population and economic growth have placed unprecedented pressure on water. Fresh water resources are being depleted. The capacity of the country to meet the growing demand for food is threatened by land degradation, rainfall variability, and the climate change. Ethiopia is currently experiencing its worst drought since 2002. And while our progress and the support we receive from UNICEF and others are more resilient than we have been in the past, the impact on food production will be substantial. Ladies and gentlemen, the issue being raised are not unique to Ethiopia. Also, the scale of the challenge in Ethiopia is considerable. Water security is emerging as the number, of, the number one national risk in terms of growth and development. The different aspects of water security, floods, droughts, water supply, and water resource management have been included as an integral part of the sustainable development goals. In Ethiopia's second growth and transformation plan, we are addressing the sustainable development goals targets for water through improving water resources management and ensuring continued expansion of access to sustainable water and sanitation services in the country. The, the development partners, civil societies, the private sector, and the community have responded through a number of innovative approaches to achieve the SDGs, many of which focus on the active participation of communities and through the involvement of stakeholders. We are all also exploring public-private partnership to improve the continuity of water supply and the use of microcredit surfaces for women to help improve access to drinking water supply. And a demand-driven approach is being implemented by the National Water Supply and the Sanitation Program. For many years in Ethiopia, WASH, Water Supply and the Sanitation Implementation, has been pro project-based and fragmented without harmonized funding from develop develop development partners. Such approaches not only create high transaction costs and and more workload on the government, but also hinders the possibility of reaching the set targets. Because of that, the government adopted a sector-wide approach and launched the One Wash Program, national program. We are pleased to once pleased to note that UNICEF has been playing a great role 
in partnering with the Ministry to develop one wash program. The Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Electricity, together with the Ministry of Health, Agriculture and others, established a water sector working group to provide a forum for the government and the donors to jointly promote, support and coordinate sustainable and integrated development and the management of water resources for socio-economic development of Ethiopia. This water sector working group will serve as a knowledge hub for the entire water sector. Another key area of progress has been in researching our water security challenges and the solutions. Research institutions such as the Water and the Land Resource Center and at Sababa University, in collaboration with sector ministries of the government, are working on approaches to, to remediate highly degraded environments. This will ensure water security for communities, addressing problems such as reduction of soil moisture, holding capacity and the land productivity, siltation of dams and reservoirs. Ladies and gentlemen, using this opportunity, I would like to inform you that the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Minister of Water, Irrigation and Electricity, has expressed its interest to host the fourth sanitation and the water for all high-level meeting from the 15th of March to the 17th of March 2016 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I trust most of you will be able to attend this high-level ministerial meeting. Lessons learned from Ethiopia in this regard would be shared through the sanitation and the water for all platforms. This conference, therefore, could, no, could not have come at a more appropriate time than now. Having this opportunity, I would like to emphasize how important it is that we develop innovative approach for the, the provision of much needed wash services and the sustainable water resource management for vulnerable water resource systems. It is my government's ambition and the commitment that all Ethiopians, especially women and children, have a future where they can live, learn and grow without the burden of water insecurity. Thank you once again for choosing Ethiopia to benefit from the rich project led by the esteemed academic institution. We know that water security is important, yet it is not clear what needs to be done about it, what measures reduce poverty, and what measures give in the best value for the financial investments. For instance, how do we set up tariffs to ensure that supply distribution systems are well maintained. We hope that rich research can shed light on some of these issues. Millions of people in Africa live in water, live in water insecurity. I am confident that the different Ethiopian institutions, UNICEF Ethiopia, Water and the Land Resource Center, and Addis Ababa University will effectively collaborate with the other partners to provide evidence and policies which will help not just Ethiopia, but all African countries improve water security for the poor. I'm also pleased to acknowledge that DFID's previous and continued support, which has been instrumental in a number of water resources management initiatives on one wash implementation throughout Ethiopia and the knowledge generation in addition to developmental and humanitarian activities in Ethiopia. Finally, I would like to take the opportunity to assure you that my ministry, my ministry's commitment towards the successful, successful implementation of this project. Thank you very much for your attention. I thank you.